moment of what you were sent into the world for. Not merely to work and sleep and laugh and talk and enjoy yourself. No. You were meant for something higher and better than this. You were placed here to train for eternity. Resist the devil when he whispers that it is impossible. Try, and the Lord God of the promises will give you strength in the trying. He loves to meet those who struggle to come to him, and he will meet you and give you the power that you feel you need. Difficulties which seem like mountains shall melt away like snow in spring. Obstacles which seem like giants in the mist of distance shall dwindle into nothing when you fairly face them. If men believed the promises more, they would never be afraid of the duties. The line in the way which you fear shall prove to be chained. Remember the significance of the work. The lost sheep must be gathered from the east to the west and the north and the south. But when the inquiry is made, who will go for us? We do not hear a sufficient number promptly saying, here am I, send me. We are bound to serve Christ with the very best faculties and attainments that we possess or can possibly acquire. He who does not lay a good foundation in the beginning will never be likely to supply the deficiency afterward. Do not say that you can pursue an adequate course of study without the expense of many sacrifices. The service of God daily calls for labor and sacrifice. Dear brother, let us remember that the time of our exertion will soon be over. The day of reckoning will soon come. Care only for the things of Christ and nothing for your own things. If you make it your first and great business to seek the kingdom of God, all other things shall be added unto you. To study and prepare, to pray and seek the Lord's help, to be used as an instrument in his hand as a minister of the gospel. This is undoubtedly the most important and glorious work about which the minds of men can be occupied. It is a sacred calling. This has eternal significance. The implantation of spiritual life in a soul which is dead in sin is an event the consequences of which will never end. What may you and others of light character affect for the building up of the waste places of Zion.